Here come the home sides. The rags led out by Skipper Lewis Wynn to one of the noisiest receptions I can remember here at the Staff Santander International. A wonderful atmosphere around the ground. Another 3,000 or so in to watch this one. Takes the ball into the 22 for the men in black. In possession in front of the post with Sam Crean now. And a good opportunity here, a gap in the Jersey defence and it's going to be an early score for the visitors. Lewis Finlay was in the championship team of the week last week and he spots a gap in the Jersey Reds defence inside two minutes. Lining this one up is Tom Hardwick. Through it goes, adds the extra couple of points. Just to the right of the post here, the Reds. Sensing their moment, long well. All the years experience he's got to try and drive Jersey forwards. Maybe a gap there as he reached the line, he has! Reds get their first score of the afternoon. Conversion to come from in front of the post. I shouldn't think uh, Russell Bennett will take too long to dispatch that one. Won this afternoon with his successful conversion a little earlier on. Now from this penalty, yep, through it goes. Good pressure this from Billion's men. Still short though, out it comes into the skipper win. Amptil defending valiantly here. Is that one forwards? Over he goes! Tommy Lewis! Happy enough. Is this going to add the extras? He's given that a fair old wallop. Through it goes. A second score now, win to the right of the posts. New Jersey switched the play wide, working it wide. Lovely handling. And they got enough space in the corner. Can he get there? The crowds think he has. The referee says, yes, he has. Will Brown scored the winner against Ealing seven days ago. He goes over again. It's Jersey's third score. And they're starting to tick now. What can we control? And everything we can control is the game happening right now. We can't control what's happening over in Ealing and Doncaster. Yeah, obviously you might be keeping a side eye on it, but right now it's about how can we do it? It's all in our hands. If we win, then that game's irrelevant. And Harvey, if you're watching this back later, I've not called you a liar there. <laughs> Li uh, line out is good this time. Now, can the Reds force their way over for a fourth try, a bonus point try on the stroke of half time? Now the supporters bang the boards. Maybe a yard short. Extra men added. They've reached the line. They've crashed down. They've got the score. May well be Hugh Owen at the bottom of the pile. We'll try and confirm that in a moment. The Reds won't care who's got it. They've got four tries. The bonus point is tucked under their arm. Four tries and a 24-10 lead with the conversion to come. Yeah, no, definitely. I think that was Hugh Owen. Jersey have certainly dominated possession and territory since, and the scoreboard reflects that with a 24 points to 10 lead for Harvey Bullion's men. Here comes the scrum. And again, Jersey getting some advantage. This time they will try to use it by working it out to the right-hand side. Can they get in there? Jersey score! Reds with a fifth try. Amtil with one try in the game. Came in the opening few minutes. Been hard work for them since, but battle on they do. And looking now to work the ball out into the backs and to get that ball across. That's well judged, picked up on the bounce. Is this going to be an Amptil score? They get to the line, can he ground it? He can. And Amptil do get the score there. It was well worked. Worked away out to the left. After a good spell from them, a good few minutes down there. And Amptil get the score. So uh, Henry is just down, getting some treatment. Looks to be his, to his calves, maybe a bit of cramp out there as the line out is taken and taken quickly. Jersey with the man advantage. Tucked under the arm, I think, of uh, Hadfield there at the back of the mall. Now the Reds start to get them all moving the way they want it moving. Down to within a, a yard or so. They've reached the line. They crash to the line. Jersey get the try. And maybe, just maybe, that might be enough to clinch the title for the Reds. There's still 10 minutes to go. But... Yeah, he liked that one. As soon as it left the boot, he knew it was through the posts. Adds the extras. Jersey have There is to be a trophy presentation here this afternoon, which I've got a feeling there might be now. We'll bring that to you live on the live feed as well. That's a bit better from the line out. Great mauling from the home side here. Made a good 10, 15 yards.
looking to finish the season strong. I say the season, it's the league season. There's still the Championship Cup to come semi-final next week. But Jersey running right almost here now, working the ball out to the left, looking for another score here and to really start the party. Mitchell, the replacement scrum half, goes inside, finds Scott. Mitchell, has he got there? Yes! Yes, he has! Jersey are going to win the championship this afternoon, you better believe it! They lead no problem for Bennett, adds extra couple of points. Until have battled hard, all game. They've got their tries, they've got their moments when they have entered the 22. And the uh, Jersey players just checking with the referee whether that is indeed it. He kicks the ball off! Jersey have done it! They've only gone and done it! The Reds are the championship champions! Scenes that this place hasn't seen too often down the years. Just under two decades ago, Jersey were competing in London's South West Division 3. Today in 2023, they win the second tier of English rugby. Yes, they won't go up to the Premiership, but what a special, special day for Harvey Billion, Rob Webber, and all those who came before, before them, the likes of Ben Harvey, former chairman, Bill Dempsey, those that have helped Jersey reach this level over the last decade and a half as they've climbed up through those leagues. What a battle it's been against Ealing all season long. A two-horse race. Ealing did their bit today. They got their win at Doncaster. But it is Jersey Reds day. Jersey Reds are the champs. Bullion comes forward. Lewis Wynn, the club captain, picks up his medal. Wynn can't wait to get his hands on it. He's got it. He gets a slap on the bum from his head coach. The champagne flows. <laughs> Jersey Sport hasn't seen many scenes like this before. They would have come into today thinking they were favourites. They knew they were favourites, but the job still had to be done. And boy, they did it after conceding the early try. A bonus point win on the last weekend of the season. And the Reds reach 100 points. And the Reds are the champions of the championship.